got stuff planted. We got a second garden bed in. Yes. We got not only one gray planted, but a second one. Hi, I'm Melissa from Amethyst Food Forest. And we're gonna be getting our garden edging started and building our grape trellises. Oh yeah, we're also gonna build a fire pit and have s'mores tonight. We're gonna build our grape trellis right now. I found some cattle panels out on the property. Um, they are a little rusty, but they will do. Picked up a few permanent stakes. And then we have a dilapidated fence on our property. I just cut some wire from there. We're gonna build our trellis system right over here for the white grape and the red grape. Thanks for the help, Andrew. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Let's go tie up the grapes now. I'm gonna tie the grapes so that they form like the permanent position of their trunk. So I just gotta kind of bend them and figure out how I want that permanent trunk to form. going to train it to go all the way across this bottom one and then it will grow all of its vines going up and that is where our grapes will be and of course I'm going to trim it off from the top so that it doesn't get so big um, grapes grow about 20 feet in one year I don't want it to get out of control let's go do the second one I'm coming to help you Andrew We did the second bed yesterday. It was at the end of the day, so we got a little tired. We're gonna finish up by making the edging of this bed from this dilapidated fence over here. garden bed is done not sure what we're gonna plant in here but I do have a bunch of perennials that are ready to pop in the ground we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow so maybe tomorrow will be a good day for that Andrew deemed that the fire pit was essential to our well-being it's almost perfect size I'm pretty sure that is a mushroom fairy ring Yep. While Andrew was at home today, he gathered all these old patio bricks that we had on the house here to build a free fire pit. So we're always finding kid toys around the property. <laughs> the previous owners had a lot of children. Well, we thought we cleaned everything up, but look what I just found in this fire pit. <laughs>
bunch of these little guys. Andrew, you went to fire science school or yes. class. Yeah. So explain to us how we're going to build a proper fire and why do we have holes at the bottom of this fire pit? Well, the holes in the sides are for ventilation because fire needs oxygen to survive. All fire is, is a reaction, chemical reaction with oxygen by definition. So that's step number one, make sure we have oxygen. Step number two is make sure we have fuel, hence the leaves. Is that early? Yep, that's our leaves. And with fuel, the key thing is small sticks on the bottom, and then you build outwards to bigger sticks. You're gonna build a teepee with the little sticks, huh? First we do, yep, then we do it layered. I'm having much luck right now, but luckily <laughs> we got all these leaves to help out here. Well, let me lend you a hand. so thick near the bottom that we basically almost can't even see the leaves. Starting to look like a teepee of branches, Andrew. It's more like just a big pile of tinder to me, but it'll get Yes. There. And then we have like a little hole down here where we're gonna light it up. Basically a teepee in a way. Okay, we're gonna go to the barn and grab some bigger branches that we collected earlier. sure what we're gonna do with the barn yet maybe we'll convert it into a coop but right now we're just using it for sticks so we're starting off with the little sticks and then medium sticks and then logs at the end S'mores, Andrew. I know. Hey, we got a new hose, by the way. Remember my last video saying I didn't have a water hose? Picked up a nice heavy duty one for the last a few years. The Fire Master is making it burn. That's fire. 